Um, and so, you know, from 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 that side of the house, um, you talked about the COE. Is it always the COE that is the center part, uh, central part of emerging technologies coming into play, or will the citizen developer, um, you know, replace a COE? Is there going to be peaceful coexistence? Do you think, or you think there's, you know, now with putting the technology in the hands of the business with with you know with these tools uh, and the advent of uh, gen AI and 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 other tools that are coming on on uh, online here in the next year or two uh, do you see you know the COE kind of going away and not being the emphasis of uh, technology yes I and that's an interesting question and you know like uh, so I, I'm, I'm gonna say as would any consultant worth his or her salt, you know, it depends, right? So uh, the, the actual evolution of some of these actually uh, correlates a bit to the scale of the program as well. Uh, so for instance, uh, you could have a grassroots. So citizen development itself is, is part of this whole grassroots or, or bottom-up approach, right, to automation or to uh, development and so on. Uh, and that could have various stages of maturity, right? So, and maybe in the first stage or the early stage, it would be just about sourcing ideas, right? And and then that is implemented or evaluated and and then developed further. In the maybe the more mature stage, you could have large scale uh, citizen development programs as well, where you know uh, a lot of the folks who are more on the business side they start to develop some of these apps, maybe proof of concept. Maybe some of them even go on to build out more sophisticated apps, right? With the required amount of training, uh, the right incentivization mechanisms, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, either way, uh, I think the COE tends to play a role, uh, especially when it comes to scaled up programs, right? So it, it's just that the role of the COE may change across those timelines or those maturity phases. So when you get to a more scaled up program, uh, you may have a COE which has a, even a hub and spoke model, right? So the hub perhaps maintains all of these standards and in, you know, helps update on the IT guardrails, et cetera. Uh, and also takes, uh, takes up maybe more sophisticated development projects which have impact across the organization. The spokes then help with, uh, you know, planting the same ideas within particular business units uh, and so on, and they work with the citizen developments within those uh, citizen developers within those business units, right? So I, I don't think it's an either or. When when it is very small, uh, perhaps it can be the case that maybe there is not an established COE at all, and as there is a citizen developer, or a, there are a group of citizen developers which work maybe with enterprise IT within a business unit. But as it scales up, it gets beneficial to have some sort of uh, maybe a centralized standards and governance mechanism, maybe with spokes across the organizations as well. Right. So it it is an evolution. 